What's going on, guys? Welcome to part three of our uh, Twitch Rivals stream uh, testing. Tomorrow we are playing, well, today, I guess, if you're watching. Earlier today, we played an event, um, and we're going to play this four-color dragons deck. You might have seen the outcome, but this is a, we're, we're just testing the deck right now. So you guys get to see four-color dragons in standard, and we are playing two search for Escanta, four lava coil, three treasure map. We just added two Sailor of Means. We also added one Urza's Ruinous Blast, and we took out one Ral for two Teferi. So, um... Yeah, some changes, and um, yeah, all right, so that's pretty much the only changes we made to the main deck. Other than that, the sideboard now has two Disdainful Strokes and two Negates, because we were looking for something like that effect. And we also have one Banefire, because sometimes you can just kill them with the Banefire. Any thoughts on Nova? Uh, uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast also doesn't hit our Planeswalkers. Um, the, the problem is that, like, you guys, keep keep in mind that Urza's Ruinous Blast exiles non-land permits that aren't legendary. Um, oh God, it does exile, like, Dragon's Horde, though. And Treasure Map and Search for Azkanta, which are rough. Like, it just seems like it's anti-synergistic with a lot of our earlier cards. I can see putting it in the sideboard, but that's the point, like, that's the point of having the Star of Extinction in the sideboards. It's also double white, that is true, because white is our splash color. We only have seven white sources in the main deck. And maybe that's just a, a loss we take. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot. And we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's try this one more time. One more time. Submit the deck. I really, really, really don't like Urza's Blast. I'm not in love with it, but we'll figure it out. It could be good. Let's see if it's good. It's one card. If we don't like it, we'll switch it for something else. Most of the time, mana has not been why we lost. Right, that's true. What does that mean? Acer, what are you saying right now, buddy? What are you saying, buddy? What is it, boy? Alright, our sub-goal has returned. Uh, double white's definitely not a small risk. There have not been a lot of games where we had double white in play. Uh, keep in mind that white is our splash color, and we have seven white sources in our mana base, so getting two out of seven white sources is not ideal. We have not lost two mana many times. However, that's because we don't play a lot of white cards. We have literally Deafening Clarion and Teferi in our deck. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. Also, Dragon's Horde helps us play Urza's Ruinous Blast. So does that. Alright, well we have Urza's Ruinous Blast, and we have Golgari, so it looks like this is exactly what we wanted. So all the lands come into play tap, thanks to Sweet Watery Grave. Sweet Watery Grave. Vraska's Contempt is so good. Wow, two Vraska's Contempts in the graveyard? That is aggressive. Hunter, stop! He's just literally sitting there back there licking himself. Just licking away. Wow, two Vraska's Contempts being, being dumped out is pretty bad. Alright, well there's a lot of dudes here. Nickel Bolas off the top would be nice. Search for Azkanta. Alright. Well, this is awkward. It's awkward because he can't actually play. I think we're just going to exile the Jade Light Ranger here. Which means we probably should have played Steam Vents because we're bad at this game. Yeah, we play Steam Vents and we exile Jade Light Ranger. That was probably a better play. Because next time we can play niv it for free. Because we have red, 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 blue, blue, blue. Okay. 
Actually, now we're probably going to wait till you play that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. Rewarded. Here's something to just untap play Carnage Tyrant. Right? Because, like, we can't actually engineer a better a better situation. Nope, of course they don't. And now we actually can't play. Yeah, it's sad. Well, let's get around. No, oh, Nikki, Nikki B. Still block here, we'll take three. We have to discard a card. We'll probably discard. Let's, let's see what we get here. Let's play Nicol Bolas. Don't really feel like going to seven here, so I'm gonna keep. Yeah, let's get rid of steam vents. Fantastic. I make my own. Yep, that's game, because they literally played everything but the Carnage Tyrant. They discarded Carnage Tyrant to Nicol Bolas. That's pretty insane. All right. Uh, we cannot play Urza's with Search. No, it has to be a legendary Planeswalker or creature. And we're dead. Seems bad. All right. So, yeah, don't like Urza's Ruinous Blast because you're, you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do to set it up. So, I'm going to... Clarion's good. Raska. Take out the Blast. Bring in Stars of Extinction. We can take out... So got a lava coil. Take out one search. I like the disdainful strokes in this matchup. Eh, maybe just leaving this guy. Maybe we just want to put the blast. I don't even know. It doesn't kill their planeswalkers, which is a problem. So they have like a Vivian Reed or a Vraska. It just doesn't do anything against that. Like, I don't think Carnage Tyrant's actually that big of a problem. We've maybe lost two games to Carnage Tyrants. <sighs> yeah, I'll try like this. Sure. I mean, the only cards we care about negating are, like, Vivian Reed, Varaska's Contempt, Eldest Reborn, and Varaska. And Disdainful Stroke hits all of those, plus it tells, like, Fine Broker. I don't think people are even playing Fine Broker anymore, but that card seems good. Uh, definitely keeping this hand. So here's the problem. The problem with Blast is that we, we're playing so few creatures that all of the removal is basically turned on when we play a single creature. If we play a niv Miz, if we play a Nicol Bolas, it turns on all of the removal. So the removal that they had nothing to do with, they now have tons of things to do with. Um, well, they have one thing to do with it, and that's all you really need. And a lot of times, that's going to make it very, very hard for you to actually cast a, uh, a Ruinous Blast. Well, we could actually play the second treasure map, play this untap, but... Eh, that guy's obnoxious. We're good for Nicol Bolas, which is nice. Mm, bottom you. Oh, I think we're just gonna... F slop that off. Well, we can't, so we're just gonna play Nicol Bolas instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that's let's play this guy. Oh wait, they have we have no white source. See, this is what I mean. Like, if you want to have double white for cleansing Nova, it's just not ideal. I'd rather just have more threats. Like, maybe put the rekindling Phoenix back in. I don't know. 
Did we draft a Bolestad? No, we did not. Yep, and so they have a thing like that, and if we were going to play Ruinous Blast next turn, it's just worse. Plus, we're also losing, like, our treasure maps and our, uh, our other guys. Well, that should have been... Next, next, and turn. Is that Sarkon getting our graveyard? You got it. All right, well, we're doing fine if we can actually resolve this Clarion, so. We're definitely going to do one of these. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to cringe so freaking hard. Cool. Now we're doing significantly worse. Because their guys are one dwarves, and now they don't die to death and Clarion. I don't think we want chemistry inside. We're not looking for cards that draw us cards. We have so much card advantage and card filtering that we don't need that. We want more threats. We want more things that actually kill our opponents. Lava coil. Um... They kept the Doom Whisperer, huh? But they don't have a land for it. Yeah, we'll keep you there. Um. Well, we know we're gonna. Yeah, we can just draw this turn because we know we're gonna keep. Let's go to the main phase. Bomb. Flip this dude. And we're just going to deafen and Clarion here. Sure. And like worst case scenario, we still have Disdainful Stroke up, but... Uh... Well, I have no way to get that back, so. Oh, pass the combat. We're going to take two. Uh, let's not go to my... Actually, we're not going to scry. We're going to scry now. Uh, done. You can stay. Draw your boy. Throw the main. No, do not use my treasure cove for such things. Actually, we're going to cancel. We're going to we're gonna cast this dude and keep up... Lupka, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. And you said it wasn't your worst matchup. I believe really since it's like the toughest. I feel like you want more early game counters. It's not just making the deck not what you want it to be. I kind of want to see Sinister Sabotage. Like, by the time it's... We, like, we just don't have three mana to, to do to do anything with it. Like, we don't have... We don't just sit around, like, keeping three mana up, I don't think. Oh, they're not doing anything. All right, now we're definitely drawing a card. One, two, buckle my shoe. We have a steam vent, so we can cast this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we actually flip this guy? Probably. We got to go to nine and they can deal three, four, five, six.
Can we, boy, can we, oh, we can put Doom Whisper into play? Yeah, I think we're doing that. So if they don't have uh, an Explore card, which they didn't seem to because they didn't play anything last turn. All right. After such a long day at work, battling Vicious Cold, you have no idea how happy I'm to see you streaming. <laughs> Drew, glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. All right. I mean, Clarion... God, I'm really surprised how much the Walker of the Wilds, is that what it's called? gets out of hand like that dude gets really beastly oh this is how it's gonna be huh the old one land hand, huh? Oh, this is good. Um, this is what we're leaning towards. I'm gonna bottom you because we don't have a double red. And we already have a dragon's horde to hit Ral or to Deafening Clarion, so. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good if we can get this Clarion going. Which we can. That's gonna be nice. To keep that guy on top. Oh, uh, I actually think this. I think Thief of Sanity is pretty good in this matchup. The problem is that, um, so we actually need red and white. So we're gonna have to play both of these before we play Watery Grave. Because next time we're gonna try to play around. I imagine. Uh, no, I think Thieves Sandy is actually fine in this matchup. The problem is what we take out, because we don't have actually have that many targets to... We don't have that many things we want to remove from the deck. I always choose both. I don't know why. Yeah, there's definitely some anti-synergy with Clarion, which is a problem. Well, they had three mana last turn, and they didn't play anything. So if they drew a land this turn, I can't imagine they have a three drop this turn. Okay. Sure. What do they get back? A Jade Light Ranger and Atlanta War Elf when they don't have a second green, which seems good. So we could just Ralzark and kill this guy if we want to? That seems that seems fantastic. Can we play one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four? We can't do that yet. I'm just gonna play around. Yeah. Oh, wait. Energy equals. I mean to tell you I went to Cracker Barrel the other day and saw they had changed the menu a bit. They had normal Sunday special, the roasted chicken on the menu, and are offering it all the time. So it would be seen Cracker Barrel agrees with your assessment that every day truly is chicken Sunday. <laughs> Hope we get something good. Oh, we did though. Ral, we did. Let's play you. And... Followed by you. Are we winning yet? Okay, that's a good one. See, and this is why I like the, the the division of the two. Because now if we draw both of them... Uh, how was your trip? Do anything super awesome? The trip was alright. Uh, I actually ended up coming home early, but... The times I was there were good. I enjoyed my hosts tremendously. Lenore Elf, huh? Lenore Elf and Find Finality. Okay, well... Wait, why would you use... Oh, because we have to. We're at uh, 15. Yeah, we can we can take a risk. Two counters. Done. Keep up the pace. 
Yes, keep up the pace. Keep up the pace, picante sauce. Ooh, let's see what we got. Take a treasure map. Map arena. I'm gonna just play this guy. Get a little thingamajig. And we'll untap these two boys. Feels like we're in good shape. What do I know? Well, that guy's good. But again, we can block it now, so Sailor Arena is actually pretty reasonable. Um. Hmm. Hold that thought. Yes, the thought. Hold it. Oh, what do I That's take here? Cool. None of these are exciting. I'll just take the uh, one that doesn't come to play tapped. There's a lot of lands here. Oh, we can just draw a bunch of cards here. All right. I forgot we had all these. Jesus. This is a lot of cards we're drawing, guys. I don't know if you know this. Okie dokie. Uh, no attacks. End of the turn. And tap these two. Have you seen elite cards for allegiance? Yeah, actually, they look pretty alright. Um, I'll probably go over my thoughts a little bit later because I don't want to actually talk about them without being on the screen. Um, but the new 2 1 seems good. Oh, look, now we actually have, like, legit creatures to sacrifice. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, Sailor means overperforming already. Being able to just get rid of a Sailor means instead of one of our planeswalkers because we have them is really nice. Oh, I didn't. Oh, man, that was so bad. I meant to scry, but then, like, I got confused. <laughs> oh, I got so confused. Get these lands out of the way, man. It's on seven. Jesus, that's a lot. I'm just going to take both these guys. Three triggers. Draw two cards. <laughs> Make you discard. Seems good. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this guy because we have nothing else to do. So we can easily discard Island. Next. Next. We'll attack. I really wish it was easier to see. Like, this takes me a second to parse which ones are tapped and which ones aren't tapped. Which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, Vintage Cube is going to be sweet. I am looking forward to it. Man, they're really, they're really hanging on. I mean, we get to Ultimate Tefri next turn. They are reprinting Mortify. Mortify was was one of the, the spoiled cards. I don't want to say leaked because should have been Vindicate. Yeah, I don't foresee Vindicate making an appearance in Standard any day now, any day soon. Yeah, being able to just... It's literally better than Stone Rain. Like, it's just a Stone Rain that you can destroy Planeswalkers with. But Mortify is nice. Kills Eldest Reborn, kills History of Banalia, kills, kills any creature, so... Mortify seems good, especially for the Esper decks. I do give my opponent credit for hanging on this long.
you think Vindicate would be fine in modern? Maybe. The problem is still being able to go like turn on Bird of Paradise, turn to Vindicate your land. But I guess you can already do that a bunch. But the the versatility of Vindicate is really strong, and you would just easily plug it into any deck, any any Abzan deck that had Maelstrom Pulse. You would just literally easily replace it with Vindicate. Are they just literally like? I guess I'm on a good game them. <laughs> good game. Oh man. All right. I mean, like, yeah, the timeouts definitely don't last as long. We don't have to wait ten minutes. We waited like a minute and a half for this, so that seems pretty nice. What do we get here? Wow! I literally went to claim my prize and it was gone. I clicked on the card and it just disappeared. Well, that's cool, I guess. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big plus on Sailor of Means. That card is great. I'm not thrilled. No offense, Josh. I love you, buddy. Not loving the rage yet. Uh, the sand is great. If we hit another red, we can actually play Sarkon on turn three and then follow it up with Nicol Bolas. I am so... <laughs> I knew you would be. That's why I wanted to preface it, because you get really sensitive, and I knew you were going to... I wanted to make sure that even if you were a little upset that you didn't cry. Because, you know, it just... Oh, Lannery Storm over Sailor. Oh, that's interesting. The problem is that you're always getting a... To now, see, the problem is we're not an aggressive deck. We are a control deck at heart. And Sailor of Means is able to block all of these 3-2s, and it also survives our own Deafening Clarion. So... I like Lannery Storm as a card better than Sailor, but I think in this deck, um, Sailor is just better. It just fits the mold better. We are going to play this because if we do hit a land, we want to be able to play Sarks. Big Sarks. Yeah, the four is so relevant because it blocks three twos, it blocks the two twos, it blocks three ones, two ones, two threes. I wish I could offer suggestions for line up with standards for your videos. <laughs> Alright, well, that's obnoxious. What is this? Warcraft Marauder and Curious Obsession, but in a black blue deck instead of just a mono blue deck? That's interesting. Alright, lava, lava coil one time. Alright, that's not it. I appreciate your, uh, your thing, but it didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, they get another hit, which is awkward, but, uh... Is Blue Black... Is Blue Black Tempo the... Is that Blue Black... This Blue Black Pirates Tempo deck, is that, like, a thing? Man. Look at John Medina telling me all about the standard format. I'm just like, is that a thing? I don't even know. I haven't kept up. I will pass. I wish I had an answer. Not a chance. <laughs> but it's also not, not, not a... Th okay, so well, this is good. This is good. Well, Nicol Bolas makes you discard, so you basically break even. You spent two cards, you drew one. You drew two cards. Um, but then it's still on the board, so it's three cards. But then Nicol Bolas makes you discard one card, so... And then they're going to go hostage taker, take Nicol Bolas, and we're going to be like, well, this is really awkward. Yikes. Deafening Clarion right off the top would be really, that's, that's really what we want to see. Resolve you. Oh, interesting. What is even happening right now? Deafening Clarion. Clarion. Maybe it's maybe. Nope, don't need you. I don't want to actually... I didn't want to do it again because then we couldn't play Nicol Bolas and we can always play Nicol Bolas. There's always money in the Nicol Bolas stand. It's kind of like the banana stand.
Guys, I want to tell you a little secret right now. I'm surprisingly impressed with MTG Arena. And it's making me real uncomfortable. Like, I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, man, this is a solid program. It's like, it's... I haven't actually, like... Like, in the beginning, it was a little rough, man. It was a little rough. But... The amount of issues I have is staggeringly low. Oh, God. It's a surprisingly reasonable client, yeah. Oh, I see. All right. Oh, oh no, I forgot about this dude. Uh, no blocks. Oh, crying out loud, man. Poor Kite Marauder. This is the this is this 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 match is gross. Deafening Clarion off the top, still on time. We're going to try it again. This time we can actually try to scry into it. I do agree with the, about the ta the tap things. That's that was one of the issues that I just had. Uh, I just mentioned that like probably ten minutes ago. Oh, um, oh, we don't actually have a second black, so that's unfortunate. So you got to go. And then we're gonna draw definitely Clarion Niv Mizzet. That is close. It's not that close. I think we're dead here. We block. We could take go to two. So this one carried the one. Contention Sarkon, not do a thing. It's not looking good. I'm hoping they block with this guy. Maybe they We had a second black, yes, but then we 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 tapped it for this. So I'm not going to draw a card that I can't cast. Like we also had to keep red and white open for uh the Defting Clarion that we were hoping to hit, so Uh, I bet they just no. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel like post sideboard we're in much better shape when we bring in Moment of Cravings and uh, the other Deafening Clarion. <laughs> we can scry. Well, now we probably can. The problem is we lose our treasure. Like it, I, the, my my biggest issue is I think Urza's uh, rage was good in your other deck. All right, we're gonna go to one here, and it's gonna be gross. Because also Urza's blast isn't out here. Let's turn this guy on. So we do have two outs. We have Urza's ruinous blast, and we have. The problem is then they just drop this dude. And then we're like, well, that's a cool 1-1 one, one that I don't have an answer to. Actually, no, if it's definitely Clairon, like, we, we get to keep Nicol Bolas either way. And this guy's... Okay. We got two shots. Oh, this is aggressive. Yep, draw a card. Island seems good. One time. Nope, don't need a third one of you. Yep, that's one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four. So we can actually play a Sarkon. Oh, come on. There we go. Was in the wrong phase. Okay, line of red. Oh, yeah, it's fine, because we're going to have to crack clues anyway, so. Oh, dear God. I mean, we know they have Spell Pierce, right? What know you of dragons? I'm going to discard the Sacred Foundry, because we can't cast it. Dang it! Biscuits! All right, we're done here.
I was surprised we lost that game because all right so let's take out God, we have so much removal I'm gonna take out Eldest Reborn because it's just not super good bring in Clarion bring in the th moments of craving take out one search That actually seems fine. I'll leave the Ruinous Blast in this time. We have so much removal that I'm actually surprised. Definitely keeping this hand. Triple Deafen Deafening Clarion seems pretty unbeatable. We just have to hit a third land. Which I don't think is impossible. It's your boy. Wow. Is Teferi better than Ral? Maybe, which is why we have two Teferis and one Ral. Uh, the only enchantment we saw was Curious Obsession. I just don't think it's that good against... I'm not going to bring it in just to kill like their... Like, it doesn't kill the creature. I'd rather just kill the creature. I'd rather bring a card in that kills their creature rather than the enchantment on the creature. This is actually mind-blowing that they haven't had a second land yet. Of course, we haven't hit a third land, and we're, we have 26 lands in our deck. Okay, one time. A red mana or a white mana? Okay, graveyard. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Why is this happening? How is this real life? Oh, God. Can you really not do anything? Like, it's usually it passes for you, right? ridiculous I feel like there's no reason we have 26 lands that is extremely high and there's really no reason we should be losing this match this is unfortunate because now they're definitely going to hit a land and then they're going to have spell pierce and or like dive down to save these guys so it's basically extremely unlikely that we're going to be able to resolve Okay, well. Library! Choose both, don't care. Jesus. Alright, we're alive. Did you guys hear that clarion? It was pretty deafening. It's a little deafening, deafening, that was a little deafening clarion humor. You got it. <laughs> oh, man. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, I figured as much. I figured they'd have Dive Down in there. You got it. If it's a land, I'm keeping it. Librario. And then we're going to play this guy. And then we're going to have tons and tons of things to do. Like one, I, I like that one deafening Clarion is free because we just get the other one back if we uh, cast it and it resolves. I 
I don't think it's possible to lose with this hand, but stranger things have happened. They do have like eight cards in their hand. One, two, three, four, five, seven. And I guess we technically have five because we're going to be able to... So now they have to discard anyway? That's weird. Okay, I guess they play their land for the turn. They're thinking. <sighs> sure. This is nice because if they hit a Deafening Clarion, we can play Ral. Oh, that's actually great. Now we can just play Ral and easily kill their Kite Sail Freebooter. That's pretty strong. Um, I'm going to keep any removal. I'm just We do want to hit a land, though. I guess we actually have two Planeswalkers. Yeah, we'll keep that. I think that's fine. Clary on my wayward mind. What was the other one? We had one. We had two definite Clarions, and s what was Exiled? There's something Exiled? Because Ral dealt three. It said three, right? And there's only two. Hmm. That's fascinating. I'm going to see if that comes up again. You got it. Let's put you on the top. Let's try to... Yeah, see, oh, currently two. Interesting. I thought it said three. Huh. It might have said three last turn, and now it just does not. <laughs> Time to choose. Choice looks ready. Oh, God. I want the land. Yeah, we're going to have to take the land here. That makes me really sad. But we need a land that comes into play on tap, so we can play Nicol Bolas and keep up Lava Coil. So I, I presume they're going to counter this, but it lets us play Nicol Bolas, which is nice. Oh, they didn't do that. All right. So now their odds of countering this are much lower, because most of the things are going to be dive down or spell pierce. Oh, Freebooter had one exiled at the time. That's what it was. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So Ral was actually buffed by the exiled card from Freebooter, which is pretty insane. That's cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. What will you do with your soon-to-be winnings? Oh man, let's not, let's not. There's a, there's a bunch of good players in the in the event, but there's also like, I think there's probably maybe like five to ten pros in the event. Um, the people in the event that I'm that I feel are, are direct competition would be like Yol Yol Larson, Ollie, Jeff Hoagland, and like Caleb. Um, and there's not a ton of other every, uh, most of the other people I don't know them by and uh, Gabriel Nassif most of the other people I just don't know them by name so I wouldn't be able to say uh, most of them I think they're just magic streamers they're just arena streamers on a peak. The weight is killing me. I don't foresee you. No, this guy's uncounterable. So we can actually draw a card with Dragon's Horde and kill this guy. Uh, is Gabby in there? I'm not sure. I could just pop over channel last, but hey, you know. I do. I know that. I mean, it's not. It's more work than it seems. Like, you gotta be like, let me open a new tab. Let me type the thing. Let me wait for it to load. Let me type the, the question. Let me wait for a response. It's You'll get no uh, no shaming here, buddy. Um, are they attacking? Yeah, let's go into the combat step. Is 
sequence where they dive down. I mean, this dive down's a it's a pretty interesting dive down if you're just using it to prevent one niv mizzet trigger. And I don't think that's uh I don't think this guy's long for this world. That guy also dies. All I have to do is untap and that guy dies. That's fascinating. One thing I don't like is that Ral doesn't combo with Niv very well, which is kind of awkward because they're basically, you know, in the same guild, in the same set. So it's like, well, maybe these should have more synergy together, but... Yep. Keeping that. Um, yeah, we can transform this. All right. Well, I think we're way ahead right now. I don't know, maybe I'm... I don't want to get presumptuous here, but... We also have two, ca two cards here. We have our RAL activation. Looking at an extra card seems better, but it could say, look at the top two cards of your library, draw one of them, and put the other into your graveyard, right? But that, I don't think the wording works with the way magic is, but... Can I play this? We can play Teferi too? Oh, Jesus. Well, that's gross. See, this one works, though. Yep, this. Let's go to game three. No, not that one. This one, and we'll see this one. I just untap the Grixis lands. I think this game, actually we should have just five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your face. Yeah, that'll do. I always run disruptive student in a lot of my EDH decks. Oh. So anywhere I can hear your long-form thoughts on Twitch Rivals, perhaps in audio form. <laughs> if you're looking for my thoughts on Twitch Rivals, you can actually check out the, the re most recent Patreon podcast. Not Patreon. Freshly Brewed podcast I did with Ali and Trazi that went up uh, Sunday, so yesterday. So you can go to freshlybrewed.com. Not freshlybrewed.com. That is not our website. Uh, you can go to... You know what? It's on Stitcher. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. You can check it out in all those places. You can also just go to libsyn.com slash freshly brewed, I think is the link. I don't even know. Or just go to patreon.com slash freshly brewed. It's also up there. So. Oh, wow, that's very easy to remember. Thanks. Yeah. I got you, buddy. I got you. Can you get podcasts on Pandora? Is that a thing? Because I mean, I'm, I'm I'm pretty much game to put it on any any platform I can. But I wish I had a hoodie right now. It's very cold in here. It's very cold. I'm gonna keep this hand because we have Deafening Clarion. All we need is a white source. Two double Sarkon's pretty rough, or double Niv Miz. It's pretty rough, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hope that we have a better six card hand. Yeah, we're also on the draw, too. One thing I have noticed is that the arena, like, format games, like, you know, the draft where you, like, have to win seven or something is, you know, or, like, you know, the, the constructor we have to win five, or, like, they end up taking a lot longer in terms of, uh, She has to stream because sponsored wizard stream. Do they like have to like? Geez, that seems ridiculous. My God. All right. Well, they're not drawing anything, so that's cool.
We're definitely playing that. We're gonna play Dragon Sword here, and then we're just gonna activate our treasure map with it if it resolves. Drawing all three Niv Mizzets, not the best. All right. I mean, sure, I guess so. Oh, we did it again. I'm so bad at this. Oh, it's so hard to click through. It's <sighs> frustrating. I just want to hit a land, man. If they counter this, it's so bad for us, which is surprising because they have three dudes. Cancel? Oh, this is awkward. Yep. I guess we're not in terrible shape. Like, there's still draws we have. Gonna do it again. Oh, come on. Deafening clear on one more time. Okay, so we're gonna take four, three, four. We're gonna take six. Gross. Super gross. I guess we can play Sarkon here if we go to our main phase. We can easily discard a Nip Mizzet. Who are you to call me mad? I don't need this. I need this. You cast Dragon Horde, you didn't scry? Scry how? Oh no, yeah, I just messed up. Right. I literally said I forgot. Yeah, even if this even if Sarkon dies here, it's still okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five. We still need to hit one more land if they kill Sarkon though. A bold strike. I don't know what's better. I think it's probably better to just not play Niv, because we're taking three, four, five, six. Yep. Probably definitely looking for uh a Clarion here. Well, biscuits, and let's go to the main. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Niv. Do not tap the Dragon Sword for that, please. Blue, blue, uh, red, red. And now we'll play Niv. Get a thing. Draw a card. Shoot the little tooties. Don't counter it. Don't counter it. They're gonna counter it. Oh, they're gonna counter it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, I hate that so much. Yeah, this is rough. We're probably gonna chump block here, maybe. One, two, three, four. Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't... Can I not block? Why didn't it let me block there? I don't understand anything. Well, we're still alive at one. It's not what we're looking for. <laughs> it's basically a blank. Um, okay, that worked. Sweet. So... Sack this one, submit. Kill the unblockable guy, because otherwise we die. And then we hope they crack this to counter so that we can actually put it. They did not. Okay, so we can play. We're gonna have one, two, three, and then we'll have one, two, three. So we can play this guy. 
And we can play... I think we actually just want the Dragon Sword. No, we, if we can play Dragon Sword, then we have... Yeah, that works, right? So we play yeah, the Triple Steam Vent, then we have Black, Dragon Horde, Dragon Horde, Cliff Mountain. Okay. Oh, we lost flying. That makes sense. There we go. There we go. No, you can use wild cards to make any card you want. We need the life from contempt, but we're not going to get it, unfortunately. We actually, we should have played it differently. Yep, that's fine. Feels bad, man. If they have dive down, we get to respond by shooting it, so that's not terrible. Yep, so now we get to draw, which lets us shoot it. Like, there's actually no way they could... Dive down just doesn't let us. Uh, let us lose to that. Go to the face. Definitely blocked. Alright, I think we're safe now because we have Moment of Craving to target whatever they play, which kills them, and then we get to also play Niv-Miz at this turn, so... Yep, that's also very, very good. Steam vents. And the turn. And then we have just like machine guns forever. My turn. Yeah, we'll remove one to draw a card. Yeah, I'll shoot you in the face. Talking about my turn. My turn. Alright, so we can actually just deafening Clarion to get out of range here, which would be nice. I don't think we have to do that, though. We can probably just play this guy. Um, let's play Clifftop Retreat so that we have uh, mana for Moment of Craving and we can just still draw a card if we want to. They could sacrifice. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? They could literally sacrifice their own guy to to counter the spell. End turn. We can draw a card here. This should be game five. This is nine here. Oh, actually, I, oh, that, that was my turn? That's awkward. Hopefully it doesn't matter. It does not. Punch one on dive downing the three three hex proof death touch guy. Could have blocked the next Niv Mizzet, etc. Um. Yeah, I mean, definitely an option.
I'm actually really cold in here. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. Oh, it's your boy. Well, this is a better use of mana, so we're gonna do that. I like how I can just drag Vraska's Contempt out here and it dies because there's no other legal target and all of our mana is required, so it can intuit that and it's pretty good. So now we can Lava Coil. Oh, look at you, you're getting so aggressive. Oof. I mean, lands would be nice here, but I guess we're, we're doing it, so. Yep, this guy's dead, too. Maximum velocity of this guy, too. All the velocities. Kill them all. <laughs> Jesus. Another Teferi. Alright, we're doing good. Oh, good game. <laughs> Revitalize to negate the early damage? Like, we're not even playing white. White is our least represented color. We have seven white sources in our whole deck. Hope you had a fun trip. I started following you on Instagram, by the way. Smothered if you want. Oh, smooth, smoothed? Smoothed. Hey, another land. How nice. Man, all these creatures are dead. Look at the graveyard. It's like, their exile piles. Drake, 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 Drake. Seems good. Oh, smooth Ed. That makes much different. Much different? Difference? And another Drake. All the Drakes. Why'd they say good game? That was weird. Oh my god, this is utterly insane, dude. <laughs> wow, like we're not hitting lands, but you know, it's cool. We got two Tefs waiting in the wings as soon as it's safe. Yeah, that's a dude, all right. You show remorse. I'll reverse. Hope we don't have maximum velocity. Of course you do. <sighs> well, 
We could either take seven or Teferi prevents six to seven damage, so. Try to hit a land here. Oh, we did it. And it's a good one, too. Enter, enter tapped. Sweetie pie. So, what have they drawn? Six Drakes and a Niv Mizzet so far? So, they have literally like one Niv Mizzet and two Drakes, presumably, left in their deck. I mean, if we draw another White Source, I'm half tempted to just go double Clarion, but. We could also flip Nicol Bolas if we hit a land and then just kill there. I'm going to block here because then we're going to... It just gets rid of one more Drake and then it's like literally six Drakes. And then we can play the other Teferi and tuck this dude one more time. That was right on schedule. You're right. I can't imagine they have that many more threats, right? Six Drakes and a Niv Miz that's coming up, so. Oh god, we're good at this game. Wow, we've literally had it all. At every every stage of the game, we've had it all. I can't even complain about it. this game is hilariously good for us. Holy Jesus. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, I should have done that first, then we could have played this. Now we have to live with the regret. Well, I got a Niv on top, so we do have to find a way to deal with that guy. So what happened? They end, they explode one, two, three, four, five, six. So I did it for two, just to kill Teferi. This is my turn. I can't even tell it's my turn because of this glowing thing, right? And we're in our main phase. So can we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana? It's probably just Niv here, right? No, because we're actually oh we get we Niv and then we get back a Teferi to tuck their Niv. That seems pretty insane, right? Yeah, I'm game for that. Can't do anything else, right? Oh, we can draw a card. So we're going to use this Eldest Reborn to get back Teferi, and then this Eldest Reborn. Can we play... Sure. You got it. Pass. 
pass, pass. Oh, we could have actually dealt them a damage. That was pretty bad, but I think we're still okay. Um, what are we getting back? We're getting back Teferi. We can also get Nicol Bolas back, flip it. And kill their Nicol Bolas. It's probably just better to have Teferi, right? Yeah, because we already have a Nicol Bolas in hand that we can easily cast. Sorry, I'm late. My god. Let's skip to the good part. I'm gonna take two here, and then we're just gonna play treasure map, which is probably better than. Oh, I feel like we're in good shape. Wow, this is a lot of uh, a lot of resources to deal with the Teferi. And now we get to play Nicobolus and get their last card out. Well, that seems good. Oh, actually. So they're just going to have to discard that to this... To the Eldest Reborn, right? I mean, I'm no expert, but... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're not there yet. God, again, we should just play Dragon Sword. We're not just we're just throwing away value. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Why would you tap the one with the counter on it? That see that stuff like that. Like if you're gonna trust me to to believe the game is automated, right? You're gonna you're gonna let me believe. You're gonna you're gonna make me trust in the game's automation then you can't make decisions like tapping the one that has the counter on it rather than the one that doesn't. All right, so Disdainful Stroke counters just the the Crackling Drakes, but that seems okay. Definitely want Vraska's Contempt. That is a card that we... Uh... Urza's Blast in here seems pretty bad because our odds of keeping a guy on board and also resolving the Blast and also getting more than one dude is pretty rough. Clarion can go. So we have three slots. I think it's, it might be like one Disdainful Stroke. It only counters, I guess it hits like, it's not great. It only counters Crackling Drake. I might like Thief of Sanity just as like an early guy. And maybe like the one negate seems fine. I don't care about Bane Fire. Maybe I do. Yeah, I'll bring Bane Fire. Bane Fire just kills Niv Mizzets, it kills Drakes. It's all, it's fine. Um, this hand actually seems great. Like, maximizing the number of exile effects is really good. Spaghetti Toucher. Trip was good. Trip was good. Came home a little early. My hosts were good. Next time we can play this into this if they don't do anything, which I don't think they will. The name's Banefire. James Banefire. That's classic. You play an Enigma Drake? No, you don't care about that. 
I mean, this is such an innocuous card that if you want to counter a dragon sword, it's pretty fine. Sure. You got it. Crackling Drake. It's your boy. Oh, Lava Coil's very good against this card. This might have been a Thief of Sanity turn. Next turn we can kill it again, but... I'd rather just get it off the board before they can dive down or before they can spell pierce or something. Yeah, and if they're going to waste their turn discovering here, I would not mind. <sighs> any land lets us play Nicobolus. Well, any land except for, like, another Clifftop Retreat. But Glacial Fortress, Steam Vents, Watery Grave, Dragon Skull Summit, Drowned Catacomb. Sacred Foundry does do it. Gonna disdainful stroke this guy. Congratulations. Could have actually just played Thief there and avoided the disdainful stroke, but I mean, if we're playing a one for one game, I actually feel okay about it. Wow. Okay. That's surprising. Well, a fifth land would be great, but we also don't have a second black, so these Baraska's Contempts are, like, not super ideal here. They have seven cards in hand? I wish it said that somewhere. We'll see how many counter spells you have. It's just gonna be counter, 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 counter. It's just gonna be. We're just gonna have mono counter spells for everything we do. So. No more games. But we can't just sit around and do nothing either. So. Like they've played four counter spells this game. So. I'll dive down. Okay. Okie dokie. Dead again. Two drakes down. Oh, I play two mana counter spells because three mana counter spells are hard to keep up. Oh, you like that I didn't play Sarkon first? Yeah, that's pretty bad. That was just a, that was just me being hasty and focusing on chat. I hate when I notice things like seconds after I do it. I play too quickly. If we played Sarkon, they would have still syncopated it. But this is where they go. Uh, maximize velocity? No, it's not. Well, I'm going to play this untapped because even though I don't want to take the damage, I do want to play around Syncopate. So you could have Negate, you could have Disdainful Stroke, or you could just let your Drake die. We're saving Eldest Reborn in case they have niv Mizzet, which is a significantly scarier creature. Josh, happy birthday, buddy. I had no idea. Hmm. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Huh. Was not expecting that. Wow, that's pretty bad. I had no idea. To, what, what even is that? I don't even know what to make of this. Well, we're definitely bringing in Invoke now. I had no idea I needed that, but... I 
don't know if we can beat an immortal sun uncontested. Okay, well. said bye bye I don't think we have a single answer for this I guess we can have we could tef no we can't even tef we don't have a single answer for this that's unfortunate if they have one maximized velocity we're basically dead wow that is a lot of drinks they could have went maximize, maximize, and we would have taken 22. But unfortunately, we're still dead. Yeah. So they drew two more cards from this. If they had two fewer cards, they actually couldn't have three drakes. So that's something, all right. Boy, that was that was a thing. Also, they have a bunch of counter spells now, so. Let's take out the Bane Fire, bring in Invoke, Invoke, Negate, Negate. Oh, we can take out the Sailors, too. I'm going to take out one search. All right. I will play first. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. This is actually great. Yeah, last week, or the week before, something was Elk Tears' birthday, and Elk Tears, uh, Kerwit ordered us a slice of cheesecake, which is pretty comical, and the delivery driver was called Muke, M-U-K-E, I believe, so, Zaichi, close, <laughs> but, uh... Let's do this, because we're not going to play anything right there, not this one. I don't think I want that. We already have two and they don't have any threats on the board yet, so let's draw one. Oh, I see. Oh, let's go to our main phase. Yeah, so next turn we can just we can try to play Nickel Bullets if they don't do anything. I don't think they will. Their deck girl isn't really nice. Alright. I don't know what I did that was nice. Play my land. Oh, they missed the land drop is what what was that was I think it was not nice. So the only thing they can have is They have to have disdainful stroke here. Let's risk it. I think it's worth a risk. Damn they do. Alright. <laughs> I mean there's no way to play around it really. Like we can wait. And just play Niv Mizzet, but like it doesn't really do anything either, so. Um, I'm gonna pay two life here because it lets us keep up Braska's Contempt. It's not super... I mean, if they draw land Enigma Drake, it's it's a thing you want to do. Because I don't want to wait. I don't want to have it in play on their turn. I don't want to go to my turn, play Niv-Mizzet, and then go back to their turn and then have a 1, 2, 3, a 4, 5, 4, 4 Drake, and then, like, just be able to 
force me to block. So it's just better use of mana. I mean, we'll take two. We're at 18, and they have two lands, so I'm not super concerned with it, but... Oh, good game. I'll give you the good games here. Um, we are going to actually crack this because... Red, red, red. Blue, blue, blue. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, the, the treasures actually let us... Yeah, we'll keep that on top. The treasures actually let us play... Nip Mizzet here. So we got red, 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 blue, blue, blue. It doesn't actually matter which one we get. We've got a blue. And this actually should be pretty hard to deal with considering they don't have mana. So. Oh, they now they do. Uh, shoot your face. With nothing else to do here, I'm actually... Let's draw a card first so you don't preemptively tap this for me. Wow, this is a lot of removal. Oh my god, our hand, dude. <laughs> they literally can't keep a creature on the board. I mean, just don't play the... If, if they say good game preemptively, just don't play any differently than you would normally. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Alright, well, no losses yet, which is pretty nice. So I like the Sailors. Um, we still have an extra slot with the... I might just actually add a third Sailor, or a third, like, Dragon's Horde. It feels weird, though, because sometimes, like, we have 26 lands, so we don't want a ton of things that produce mana, but Sailor is nice because it does kind of provide some buffer. Yeah, again, this is a... Why is... Oh, I was like, why is Deft and Clarion still in here? That's weird. I'm going to keep this hand. We just need one land. Seems fine. Because one land gets us Dragon's Horde, and then uh, we do have enough for Nicobolus at that point, so... We have three turns to hit a land. Oh, wow. Well, we get another chance to... Oh, no, he, he did. He did. All right, here we go. Uh, again, I'd rather just have Sailor of Means. It's just better for our deck because we have multiple Deafening Clarions in our deck, so I don't really want to kill our Lannery Storm with our <laughs> with our Deafening Clarion. So I'd much rather have a card that blocks these guys profitably and doesn't get chumped by a 2-1. Yeah, Lannery Storm just seems way worse. Oh, that was a good draw, but not in that order, unfortunately. Also, we still need a red or a white source next turn. Jesus. No oh, biscuits. We got a five here? Oh, God. Nice. Does that mean I'm dead? Mr. McDude guy? Jesus. <laughs> Seems good. Yep, that seems good. How this thing goes is cool. No one said restoration was painless. Yeah, this is this seems riskable. Um because they can't actually kill her with this. They only have one card. I guess they have two cards, next they have three cards. Yep, cool. Be nice. <laughs> I mean, the alternative is we, we definitely clear and we kill both guys. They get to keep. I mean, like, meh. I don't know. Disdainful stroke seems MVP here. Who's Jeff? Who is Jeff Dutch? I don't know who Jeff is.
Uh, I think the the chat the limited chat responses need some work. But I mean, it's nothing that can't be fixed. Jeff Hoogland? I have no idea. How would I know that? Why would I know Jeff's, like, background? <laughs> That's such a weird question, Zichi. Oh, man. Yep, no idea, dude. Uh, take out one search. So we get two slots here. Definitely double Disdainful Stroke. Oh, Star of Extinction actually comes in in this matchup, too. I feel like it's weird having mana triples in a 26 land deck. Like I think we've had, we've missed the land drops more way more frequently than I would have ever expected from a 26 land deck, but I take out one. Why does it move there? Like I I take one of these out and it goes to the next page. It's very strange. Why did I cut Urza's Ruinous Blast? Because our odds of having a legendary permanent on board and being able to use Urza's Ruinous Blast while letting them keep their Vivian Reeds and Vraska's is low. Like, extremely low. <laughs> like, holy shit, that's terribly low. That's never gonna happen. I could actually ship the mountain. I'm just going to decline here. All our cards are good. The challenge. Nope, didn't want... I God, I hate that so much, dude. I wanted to stop on my upkeep so I could use this, but uh, I, I didn't want to use it up until the point where they killed my Sarkon. So, because it just goes so quickly, I literally had no choice. Cool. Now I like literally have no play, whereas I could have probably drawn something better than a Niv Mizzle. Let's find out what was on top and see if it would have changed the course of the game. God, the worst part about like the client is just that it, sometimes there's things it does that just are really frustrating. Like, I wanted to always stop on the opponent's end step, but... Maybe that's not a thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I guess they were both Niv Mizzets, so. Yeah, Sailor of Memes is, seems like another another great situation where Sailor would be great here. Oh, you're gonna kill that guy, huh? Um, you know what? I will keep that guy on top. Oh, we don't have any black mana, do we? Well, not without that, I guess. Oh, Tori Shadow, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yep, now we're gonna do it during upkeep because we actually don't want Nicol Bolas because we don't have a... Actually, no, we do want... We still want Nicol Bolas, but we actually get to flip this and play Nicol Bolas. They, have only, they only have six cards in hand, so it's probably gonna resolve. So we got one, two, three. We'll have to use one. Yeah, it's totally fine. Oh, come on. <sighs> One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I can also click it up here, but the, the point is, it clicks, I can just do it right here, but the point is it doesn't, my, that, that wasn't my point, my point was that it doesn't give me enough time to do it. Wow. And, of course, you have two creatures in your graveyard. Seems good. Oh, Tori Shadow, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, we can actually go Niv Mizzet and shoot the elf. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw a card, shoot the elf. That seems good. I don't want to take four more, is the problem. Uh, we got red, red, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, we're just going to make it red here. Kill this guy. So they have two cards in hand, though. So actually, we're not doing terrible here. If they kill this, we get to draw another card. Crawl Harpooner. And they have three, so it still kills. It's still a, just a trade. And we still have another niv -Mizzet. We don't actually have another land for it. We guess we can Teferi and, like... Yeah, they got one creature out. Oh, Joe Sapp is amazing. Joe Sapp is one of my favorite people. Um, well. The problem is that I don't really want to go to... I want to rather play a guy and be likely that we draw a card. If they try to kill it. I don't really want to go to two here and just die to a Plague Crafter. And, cool. Well, we're definitely Star of Extinctioning here and killing, I don't know, something. Oh, actually, maybe that's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't do both, unfortunately, so I guess we're just starring here. Do we have to do both? Maybe Star is just better because... Or actually, maybe Clarion is just better because it kills both of these guys, and we can save this for something larger. Now we're just going to star. Because it puts him on five lands anyway. Alright, that was very Hearthstone-esque and it was kind of cool. Yep, that seems fine. Wow, didn't keep a white up. I guess we only had one white. Uh, that was another reason why it was probably not best to... I'm just going to bury this guy because I don't want to go to one and it takes all the pressure off their board. So. Let's take it back. Yep, that actually seems fine. Alright, they didn't do anything, so we get to go Teferi and draw a card. I know my responsibility. Don't make Actually, I like that they do this in response because now we get to search for a land in our deck a little we bit and still get to draw a card, which is a land. Well, if we die here, we can. Pretty sure why. <laughs> Alright, so they basically have. Yep, and that's what we were afraid of. Okay. Well, that is the end of the game. And we died with a Deafening Clay around in hand, and they have a Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, so we definitely should have kept the... So that's a definitely that's a definitely a Pontarino. We're still in it. It's okay.
you didn't play well. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Thanks. Unfortunately, I'm also streaming and trying to respond to chat and read chat, and I think we're mulliganing this hand. I'm going to keep this because it has all the colors. You're going to leave. You're going to go away. Also, Sacred Foundry and Water Griever are nice because it makes sure every other land comes into play untapped. Actually, Water Griever by itself makes sure all four of these come into play untapped, so. I think it was better for him to wait to assassin Trevor your Trevor on the end step in case you found something that worked at sorcery speed off of the one. Um, yeah, and also... Yeah, so it works both ways. Like, by doing it in response, uh, I don't... I'm not going to draw the land. But also, you're letting me not draw a card, which could be a counterspell or a way to stop it. But alternatively, you're giving me another land, so whatever I draw, I am more likely to be able to play it. So it's kind of like... I mean, there is a little kind of like... There's definitely a tension there. Oh, that was a good hit. Wow, that was a great hit. We played a red card because if we... I mean, it doesn't... There's no real reason not to, but you, you want to maximize your red, so like... If you draw Sarkon or Deafening Clarion, you want to be able to play both of those things. Well, either of those things, you can't play both. I, I think I've also told songs from my goat that it's an awesome name. You're not gonna let me respond. You're not gonna. Let me, I just want to search for Azkanta. Uh Oh, um, graveyard. We are not there yet, my friend. This is rough. Like just not having early plays. Like I think I just want to sail our means in the deck. Oh, we're playing as Rich Owen actually. Canadian pro Rich Hohen. That's pretty funny. I think we're dead here. It's not it's no bueno. Uh <laughs> graveyard. Uh, it's awkward. Yep, we're dead. This is literally 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Literally exact season. We just literally haven't had a haven't had a non a spell that costs less than five mana. So that's cool. I'm having a good time. Okay, so Take out the blast, bring in star. Disdainful stroke always pretty good. Let's bring in the stars, bring in the disdainful strokes. Take out one lava coil. Take out one sarcon. Take out one treasure map. Yeah, I think the Sailors gives us a much better matchup against the Golgari decks because it just blocks all of their early guys a lot. Um, and the Golgari decks we seem to be stumbling with a little bit. I mean, Sailor blocks everything other than a Jade Light Ranger that has two counters, but then we still have answers for that. We have four... Um, 
lava flows lava 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 coil my draws are very fortunate good games Mr. McDude guy good games buddy I think you said like good game preemptively and I was like is this guy being a dick I can't tell do I still have the Frank Lepore wrap uh maybe Oh boy, no white source, huh? I'm gonna, so I'm gonna keep it anyway. I feel like white source is not super hard to come by. Uh, the tournament tomorrow is f 1 p.m. Eastern. Nothing, no two drops here, so we'll just play this. If they play something, we can coil it, then we can play Nikki B. Seems fine. Oh, yeah, definitely coiling that dude. Nice, have a good night, buddy. Um. Midnight Reaper. It's your boy. My ear is itching, so I scratched it. This guy's also obnoxious. Like, this is a nice addition to the deck where it's like, it's hard to kill. Like, you don't want to kill it. And if you wipe the board, then they draw like three cards. So you kind of actually want to exile this first. Yep. So long, buddy. We got a good run. Well, they got on two cards. Ideally, we hit red source, red source. Well, that's a treasure map. That's not close to a red source, but... Here we are. Uh, let's take action. Oh yes, one step away. Oh, would you look at that? They have one card in hand? You know what, I'll take the two. Here's hoping you don't have Vivian Reed or Eldest Reborn. Those are my hopes. Those are my hopes and dreams. All right, well, yeah, never, never, never doesn't have it. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Cool. This is nothing. And we have no way to play Deafening Clarion. We're gonna go to six here. They're gonna draw an extra card. Does this even do anything? What does this even do for us? It keeps us alive, but like really barely. I've seen things that would break someone like you. They're gonna get Carnage Tyrant. They're gonna play the Carnage Tyrant. Midnight Reaper, number dose. Sure. Well, definitely turn that on. I don't know why it turned off again. Sure. Draw. 
mean, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna draw two cards and have Vivian, so they're gonna gonna go to three, four, five cards next turn. Super not ideal, but we're not dead, I guess. So that's cool. Oh, they draw four cards because there's two of them. Yeah, that's cool. We're having a good time. That's just disgusting. Eight card hand. Seven card hand you seems good. Stop nature. They went from one card to seven cards. Sure. That's true, I did deal them four. I guess it's possible that they have... I guess it's possible that they have uh, nothing but lands in hand. So that guy's hanging out. Alright, well. I don't want to use this because... Well, if we draw Niv-Mizzet or something, it's... Yep, you can leave. Search for Azkanta. Main phase, Stephening Clarion. Select all the things. How are we still alive? I don't know. I mean, I was more afraid of Carnage Tyrant than Doom Whisper, but I think we're still dead here. Feel sure. the wrath of Scala. The wrath of what? Scala? Something good. Eldest Reborn. Maybe? Is that good? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Zaichi, that's pretty good. Alright, so we didn't draw anything good. It's unfortunate. Oh, that's her bow's name. Isn't that cute? So we go to three. We're not dead. I guess they can get something back with the, uh, the old Memorial of Folly. Get back a Midnight Reaper. Probably puts you way far ahead if you do that. Yep, and that's exactly what you did. Would you look at that? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Uh, I don't foresee us adding a, a magic harp emote, but you know what? Stranger things have happened. Steven, thank you so much for the charity bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. This is a thing that's happening. How many people are going to be bringing Golgari tomorrow? That's the question. A lot? I don't know if that's true. I think a lot of the streamers are gonna bring they're gonna bring brews and you know, decks that they enjoy playing. Wow. I mean if it's another land here, it's pretty bad. I mean we're dead if it's another land. So, you know. Oh wow. Oh, 
Oh, wowie. Ooh, got the vapors. I mean, they get to draw like three cards here. It's again pretty brutal. That is also our second. Eh, it's only our first star extinction. Okay. Thanks, bro. Can we just kill them with their own Midnight Reapers? Probably not. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't hold all these cards. How do I carry all my cards? You got it. Made him discard. Not feeling 100% comfortable with this deck, but I feel like I put in too many reps with it right now to... Uh... Wow. Let's tear this place apart. I would almost been tempted Balance. to kill my last treasure just so I'd have one less card to draw. hate that. Well, they know we have that, so... Wow, that's rude. How many Midnight Reapers is that? It's got to be like four, right? There's one. There's two in the graveyard. So we're basically just... We have to draw something here. Sure. I can't imagine what we can draw here that's any good. Maybe another Star of Extinction? I guess we can take this off now because we no longer have. Well, that is a thing. But we know they have Carnage Tyrant right on the top. But we still have to do it. Because this is our life now. It's not even lucky, really. They're going to draw two more cards. They get to draw a Carnage Tyrant, which strike me theoretically should just kill us. Nature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We actually have eleven mana, so if we had if we had Banefire in the deck, we're actually surprisingly close to just Bane firing their face. Yeah, I don't think we have any answers for this guy anymore. Oh, we can actually top take an Eldest Reborn, that'd be pretty sick. It's less sick now because they have two creatures. So we actually have no outs. Sailor is not gonna do it. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, this did not go as well as we could have predicted, or as we as we could have as we would have liked. I don't know what I'm saying right now. You guys get it. Anyway, three wins is still pretty good because uh, you almost break even, and we get what is it? Three cards, two rares, and one uncommon. Storm the Vault. That's garbage. First eruption. That's garbage. And marauding looter. All garbage. Okay, fifteen hundred gold. Not terrible. We can probably get some packs with this. Which we'll do. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are both in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you're looking for a gift for someone or if you just need a re-up on your own underwear or tees or socks or uh, lounge pants, be sure to check that out. Because uh, with my affiliate link, you get 15% off. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. And you get free shipping and free returns. I always forget the sailor can draw. Oh my god. I literally always forget that. That's I should have just drawn. I, I, I still don't know what we could have done against Carnage Tyrant. We're at two life. Uh, you can also check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes 
Uh, the link is in the description below. If you use the promo code for that, you get 10% off. If you use promo code Frank for that, you get 10% off, which is a great deal. His stuff is amazing. So if you guys are in the market for a Christmas present, if you're looking for like a sweet deck box, custom deck box, commander, cube, what have you, uh, definitely check out his stuff. But um, yeah, really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.